Every round equals a new gun. So what does this mean, right? Well, basically it's a challenge where every single round I have to use a completely different weapon. And now this challenge can get so unfair, all right? I can literally have the Rager Mark II one round and then have the War Machine the next round, all right? It's actually criminal what happens in this video. But yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And other than that, let's jump straight into our first map. All right then, so our first map, we have Transit. Now, as I'm sure I said in the intro, every single round we have to use a completely different weapon, right? So this round, uh, I can use the M1911. Then round two, I have to use like either the m14 or i've got to use the olympia or just something different right now hopefully it'll go you know nice and smooth but i am a little bit worried about transit right because all i'm gonna say is our <laughs> is our selection of war weapons here it is a little bit scarce i mean just look in the town area right there's like not even a single war weapon in sight so yeah it's gonna be interesting but it should also be quite a lot of fun so you can basically call this like the box roulette challenge except it's just with any weapon so you know if we apply some rules from that challenge over to this one essentially if i do run out of ammo in for example the m14 here uh, i would be able to go back to the m1911 and use whatever ammo I have in that. And the same goes to Olympia, right? If I run out of Olympia ammo, I have to go back to the M14 and we just kind of like do it that way, right? Well, the, I mean, the Olympia and the M14 is a bad example because I can just buy them off the wall, but if it's a box weapon, right? You, you know what I'm saying. So the thing is, right, there's not really too many more wall weapons for me in this area. So I need to start making a move. And this is why I'm worried, right? Because I'm like, I don't know if I'm just going to have to chill by the box like the entire game. Yeah, what I'm also going to do is just quickly turn off the fog. So there we go. And is this last guy? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can no longer use the Olympia. What a shame. And the only weapon we have is this B23I here. So this is what we're going to have to use. If I could get in the point, so I could by the M16 on my way over to Dino. That'll give me one more round of weapons. Okay, take out you. How much is the M16? I think it's 1400, right? Maybe it's cheaper than that. I actually don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna try and go for it anyways. So there we go. Obviously, I'm not gonna use it just yet. I'm gonna save it for the next round. No, 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 bro. Oh my god. No, 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 game. Oh, this is actually cringe. This is cringe. Alright, well, that is actually embarrassing. Alright, you know what? It's fine. Doesn't even matter. We just move that. But yeah, I think my goal for each map is gonna be like round 20. So you know, hopefully we can reach our goal on every single map. That would be the hope. Bro, the box is it, it's already leaving. What do you mean it's already leaving? What do you mean? That is so wrong. Okay, do I want to go with the bus though? There is literally like barely any war weapons going forward. So I think I'm just going to stay here for a bit. Because look, we have like the MP5 in there. We have like the box. What's over in farm? Is there even a war weapon in farm? I actually don't even know if there is. What is it? Like the Remington? I actually could not tell you. Okay, we are on round five, right? So I now have to use the M16. God, I like never use this weapon in Black Ops 2. The only time I ever use it is in like, you know, one. If I'm in a real struggle. I mean, it's literally round five. So it'll do the job. You know, I can't exactly complain. This thing does not have a whole lot of ammo though. That is, you know, a little bit concerning, but it doesn't even matter. Round's over. So go ahead, hit the box. It'll trade out this B2. Free R. Hopefully we get something decent. We got the RPG. That is actually so sad. But as I said, all right, if I do run out of ammo, I can switch back to the M16. And I'm not gonna make it so that I'm just like, you know, shooting shots randomly just to waste ammo so I can use a better weapon. I actually am gonna try a little bit with this RPG. So I think if I train them up, I should be able to take out the whole round with just like a few bullets, to be fair. Oh, okay. I could do with some jug though. I could really do a jug. That is kind of embarrassing. Actually, kind of cringe. Okay. Um, why did the bus have to leave so early? Actually, why did it have to leave so early? Okay, let's just start killing though. There we go. Is this literally last guy? No, it's not. I don't think there's too many more zombies. Could actually be just these two. No? Yeah, okay, it is. Uh, what do I want to do? I mean, I need to hit the box again, so. Yeah, let's do this, right? So, let's get ourselves a new weapon. So, what is it going to be? It's going to be the... Oh, my fucking God. This is the issue. I, I cannot believe, right? It gave me the RPG and then the war machine. Genuinely speechless. Um, Okay, how the fuck am I going to do this? Because the war machine is so bad. Like, I honestly think the war machine is probably the worst weapon in BO2. But how am I going to do this? Um, Am I going to have to do it like this? Oh, boys, it is so over. It is so over. Somehow, I'm not dead yet. It's an actual miracle. It blow up that room. Go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Some actual squeaky bum time. I think that's the way I'm gonna have to do it, right? It's really spooky without any choke or like quick revive or anything like that. Kind of putting me on edge right now. But I think this is the only way I can really like think about killing these zombies. Oh, we got a max ammo. Okay, that's kind of big. This means I'm not gonna have to use like the RPG or anything like that. No way we actually managed to get down to last guy. There is actually no way. Bro, how does he do it? Actually left speechless. But finally, we can get rid of this gun. Well, I mean, we've got to get rid of the RPG, but the FN foul, all right? It's literally better than both of those weapons. So what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna hit the box again and trade out this war machine. We got ourselves the type 20. Okay, that's actually not a bad weapon for next round. Yeah, now that I have two weapons that I can use, I'm going to literally take the bus. I'm going to take the bus. That is actually perfect timing. I was going to just run for it, but that is kind of like perfect timing to be fair. But I'm going to take this chance to get myself set up. Bro, you cannot, you actually cannot make that up. I am, I am so cringe. I am actually so cringe. Round 20, by the way. Round 20 was the goal, by the way. Oh my God. Okay. That is, that is borderline cringe. But you know what? Transit, it was a bad map, okay? So uh, we're gonna, you know, fuck off transit. And instead, we're gonna move on to our next map. But first, Saturday, the 16th of March, I will be doing a 24 hour live stream where basically I just do a bunch of Easter eggs and you guys can actually get involved, all right? I'm gonna be playing with people from the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord yet, links in the description. This is the time that I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna put a bunch of time zones in. Just pick out your one. So, you know, 
know, mark that on your calendar, you know, take the day off work if you need to. Sack off the missus, you know, put on a white tank top and get a can of Stella out and she won't bother you for the rest of the day, I promise. But yeah, I hope to see everyone there. But yeah, enough of this. Let's go back to the video. Alright then, so our first survival map, nav card table build, restart match to apply. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, first survival map, you have bus depot. Now originally I wasn't gonna do survival maps until you know after die rise, uh, when I said, you know what, I'm gonna have to do something, right? But this video is literally gonna be 10 minutes, right? That's a little spoiler for die rise for you. But yeah, we're doing bus depot. I mean, what am I expecting? There's no quick revive, only one mystery box location, and that is it. So I'm curious to see how far we'll get. Uh, I'm hoping at least around 10, honestly, at this point. Obviously, the goal is still around 20, but with how transit went, uh, let's be real, it's probably gonna have to be like round 10. But also, it's round two. I need to switch on my weapon for the M14. Probably should have bought the Olympia first, but you know what? I didn't really think about that. So let's just fly through round two. There we go. Got the Olympia, even though I'm hoping this nuke kind of just like clears out everyone, but I don't think it will. I don't think I have enough time to spawn in. Okay, I'm gonna grab it now. How many is that gonna kill? Probably not that many, to be honest. Oh my god, dude. This Olympia is so bad. It's like, it's not even killing, but round three, by the way. Round three, Olympia will not kill. You have seen it here first. Oh my god, you are. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna fast restart. I'm not gonna count that. <laughs> That's my attempt because that was honestly silly. How was the Olympia that bad? I am actually in shock, by the way. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the Olympia round two instead. I'm actually not messing around. The zombies are actually so slow. Bro, like, what was he doing all the way back there? Talking about Shrek's little hook. Right, well, either way, M14. At least with this gun, I know for a fact I'm gonna get at least that's round three, all right? At least I know this. Plus, we've got an insta kill. There is literally no way I can fail. If I die here, like, I'm an embarrassment, bro. I'm quitting zombies. I'm actually quitting YouTube. Okay, bam. Round three is complete. Right, let's start making a move out here. Hit the box. See what I get. Better be something good or I'm not gonna be happy, game. So, give me something good. We got the ray gun, bro. You literally ask and you shall receive. This game loves me, right? It loves giving me the ray gun. If there's one thing, right, in Call of Duty Zombies that I go way back with, it's the ray gun, you know? When I was playing Black Ops 2, I remember playing Transit and I remember getting the ray gun for the first time out of the box. And boys, I actually nearly cried, right, as a child. I was genuinely in tears. Black Ops 2, I'm not ashamed to admit it. It was the first time I actually properly got into zombies. I did play a little bit in Black Ops 1, but I mean, if you know the story of Black Ops 1 for me, uh, I played, you know, the Totem, or the M14 in the Olympia. I thought I was the king, I thought I could never die, and then died on like round four. Like, that was like 1% of the time. The other like 99% of the time, I couldn't get past the main menu when the screen went all red. So, you know, BO2 is where I put my big boy pants on and I jumped right into the first game of Transit. And I remember I was playing public match, I was on the bus, had the Ray gun. It was, it was a core cool memory of mine now. Certified classic moment. Also, we need to get rid of this M14. So, what are you going to give me game? We've got the M1216. It's fine. Better to get it out of the way now, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that is also my first Ray gun experience. Look, alright, I didn't get into COD for the zombies, alright? I got into COD for the multiplayer, right? Modern Warfare 3 OG, timeless classic, right? That game, every time I think about it, just makes me happy, right? I was streaming World War 2 the other day, literally, like, nearly crying from, like, playing the game. Like, the Darker Shore, literally one of the worst maps ever. But I was crying, alright? Literally tearing up. And then we started going on about the OG Modern Warfare 3, and my, li my life was brought back into me. I'm not even playing. Like, I actually resurrected. But yeah, either way, going on to round 6, we're gonna get rid of the Reagan. What are we gonna get? The Ballistic Knife? That is actually heartbreaking. Really upsetting stuff, to be completely honest with you. Especially since this is the first round where it becomes a two shot. Like, I couldn't have gotten the last round where I one shot all the zombies. Basically, all I gotta do is just shoot them and then knife them. And that way, I should be picking up the, the knives. I'm not picking up the knives. Okay, that's not the greatest thing in the world. Oh my god. Okay, these Ballistic Knives are not it. I can't believe I traded out the Reagan for this. Also, this is completely random. They don't remember Morgs, that little British kid. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, you, you definitely know the meme, right? Back in the day, if you were an OG. It's the guy who was like, want to join my uh, something giveaway? My gift card giveaway? Subscribe to the channel. And that was like, I was about all I remember. But also, that nuke actually life changing. There's some Darman type of plot right here. Like, I don't know what the title would be, but you know, either way, trailer is M1216. What can we get? We've got the MTAR. And not complaining. The MTAR is a very nice weapon, actually. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying about Morgs? Like, yeah, he's, like, I just don't know where he is now. Like, bro just fell off. I actually don't know. Does he still upload? I need to check now. Morgs. Bro still uploads. And bro still makes, bro gets so many views. That is criminal, bro. Bro's got a beard and everything now. Oh, but he's still got a little baby face, though. He looks like a B-Tech Harry from the Sidemen. Maybe upon closer examination, right? That's just like, <laughs> not going to be accurate, but I can't believe he still uploads. And I still can't believe he gets views. That's actually rare, you know? Someone who makes their content, like, primarily for kids. You know, once those kids grow up, right, they usually lose all of their audience and then just, like, quit YouTube. He seems to have gathered an entire new audience of kids. Like, that is crazy. Fair play to the guy. All right, round eight. What are we going to get? EMPs. Okay, I'm going to have to hit it again, boys. Like 25. Okay, that'll, uh, that'll do. Also, I cannot believe this. Morgs is older than me. You are jo you are joking, bro. Morgs is older than me. You're lying. I do not believe that Morgs... This is, this is criminal, bro. This is actually not... This is not fair. He's 22. I'm 21. I'm turning 22 in two months. He is literally older than me. I'm quitting. I'm actually... I'm leaving this earth, bro. I'm so done. Look, look at this, bro. My, my character's literally about to kill himself. I don't want to even be alive right now. I cannot believe he is older than me. That makes me so sad. I was like, we're out of ammo. Oh my god, I can't believe this. All right, well, that is a, a sad revelation. Is the game giving me something good? No, it gives me the RPG. Of course it does. But you know what? Moving away from that, absolutely sad revelation. Uh, at least I got past transit, right? We do have the RPG. Uh, not the greatest thing in the world. I won't lie.
just keep trick. Oh my god, I just got one tap. Let's go. All right, well, I mean, that is a bus depot done. What round do we get to? I can't remember. Round nine? Huge boys. What can I say? There's also no game audio. This is really eerie. I don't think I like this, but either way, we'll go ahead and we'll move on to our next map, which is going to be farm. All right, next map, we've got farm. Now, farm, uh, it's going to be interesting, actually, because I don't think there's an M14 on the wall. Yeah, there's the Olympia, and I, I think that's it. So we need to get to that box pretty much ASAP. And to be fair, there's a cheeky little trick we could do. But if the zombies actually speed up, thank you very much. We'll gather up a few points. So there we go, we'll buy this Olympia. And I'll also buy Quick Revive. But yeah, basically, what you can do, right, is you can hop up on this little railing. And if you do like a crouch jump, uh, you can actually hit the mystery box through the floor. And because of that, it basically saves you like 750 points having to buy this. So we can utilize that just in case I don't have enough points to buy the door and hit the box. Ideally, I do need to open up that door at some point. I can't just keep it closed because like Jug is up there and stuff like that. So like here, right? I need another weapon. I don't have enough to buy the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this cheeky little crouch jump and then hopefully get myself a weapon. Imagine. Oh, I see the RPG. That is so sad. Every time, every time. Oh, hold on, bro. It's actually a bot, bro. I actually love the quick arrive jungle. Like jing jungle, bro. I mean jingle, but yeah, I actually love the quick arrive jingle. See, I swear they don't hit the same like in the later games. They actually don't. I, I don't even know if Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has jingles for the perk machines. Can anyone confirm that? Nick, if you're watching the video, please confirm that because I know you're actually addicted to that game and it's unhealthy and you need to stop. Okay, anyways, still don't have enough points, by the way. Open up the door and hit the box. I'm going to have to do this trick again. This is super annoying. Uh, I did I get something that can get me points. I mean, the Type 25 will do. It would actually manage to cover up quite a few points. We're so up right now, boys. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this. Oh my God, speed colors playing. What an absolute banger. For uh, 30k, I'll do a Renzaru jingle cover. Is there a kazoo like cover of the uh, like perk jingles? I actually need to look this up now. Kazoo perk jingles. There's one for double tap. There's one for double tap. That is criminal, bro. Oh my God, no shot, bro. I still have a kazoo. Yeah, let me turn off my, my noise cancellation real quick uh, on my mic. All right, there we go. All right, you ready, boys? Which one are we doing? Which one are we doing? I Man, I'm saying this as you guys can answer back. Uh, I'll do quick revive. <laughs> Classic. If you guys want a full version of that, uh, I need to hit 30,000 subs. And I'll do the full version. Oh my god, you are joking, bro. I just did that and I got the fucking war machine, bro. That is actually so embarrassing. All right, I think this is a good deal, though. 30k subs and I'll do every single perk jingle on the kazoo. Oh my god, are you actually joking? I'm not that. Oh my god. Thank you, war machine. Really appreciate that. Oh, and we managed to finish around. Perfect. Oh, we got the ray gun back. I mean, not exactly complaining. Yeah, I think that is so much incentive to subscribe to a channel, you know. Let me check my analytics. I want to see, like, every single viewer subscribe. I want to see all of you guys do it. Once I post a video, you can even unsubscribe, right? Please don't, but there we go. Set. There's my 30k sub special. Okay, there we go. Round six is complete. Uh, still kind of slacking on the points, to be honest with you. Could really do with some more, but eventually we're going to get a bunch of points, all right? I'm feeling it. It's all a matter of time. Just not this round, right? Because I, I have a shotgun. Or is it when everything is, in fact, dragging you down, grabs you by the hair, and does, in fact, pull you to the ground? If you do want to get up, just stand up. It, it really ain't that difficult, boys. Okay, you know what? We actually did get quite a few points this round. Enough for me to, like, buy Jug and still have a weapon for next round. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so there we go. The box. What are we going to get? I'm sure it's Reagan. Please don't be something bad because I might cry. The MTAR, bro. The MTAR actually loves me. Okay, the next thing I want to buy is double tap. You know, double tap is literally OP. So let me head over here. Quickly just buy that. There we go. Okay, bam. There you go. Easy round. Not even sweating. Get another cheeky little hit at the box. I bet it's going to be something really good. We got the hammer. Might exactly go wrong. It's, it's starting to hit me, right? Just how boring of a map farm um, actually is. In my opinion, this is like, I was going to say it's the worst, but I think Bus Depot takes up. If you don't include Bus Depot, this is like the second worst map on this game, right? And I might be thinking, well, how are you going to say that when transit exists but you see transit is also a really shit map but at least there's some kind of replayability to it like you can go do the easter egg you know you could just like restart it after you die on round three by the denizens or by just something stupid or if pack a bunch screws you over you know there's there's a lot of things that you know come with transit right farm you get nothing literally nothing bro don't even keep your weapon in the fridge it is actually criminal also we got the ballistic knife round 10 we are so up right now now i've said that i'm fucked multiple times when i get weapons right the ballistic knife i think it's over boys it is literally is that a full shot oh it is so over worse. What is that? Galva knuckles? I might have to buy Galvas. Oh my god. Yeah, it's okay. It's a free shot. Oh, well, actually, to be fair, I did say if I ran out of ammo, I was allowed to use my other weapon, but this gun technically has infinite ammo. So what do I meant to do with that? I guess we just keep shooting into them <laughs> and eventually the horde will die. That or I buy uh Galva knuckles and just do that. Unless that's an insta kill. No, it's a double point. Of course it is. Hey, what? That was a carpet that brought I'm actually blind. Oh my god, please just end the round. There we got a max ammo. I mean, it's not awful actually, because do is I can just shoot these last few shots. Alright, I'm just gonna pick it up now. Yeah, I got all my shots 
bounce back. Is it? Oh my god, bro. That took so long. Didn't even have to buy Galvan Knuckles. Who is this guy? Actual apology. Uh, anyways, go be type 25 again. Sure game. Why not? Dude, sometimes my game randomly just has like really good frames. And the game like runs so smooth. Because I only have a 165 hertz monitor, right? I'm sure some little rich kid out there is like, Ugh, only 165 hertz? That that's cringe. Right, I don't care. For me, that is like very nice. Also, this thing is out of ammo. And now I'm back to the ballistic knife for the entire round. Let's go. We are so up right now. Uh, but yeah, right. I only have 165 hertz. And yeah, when it starts running at like max frames, it makes me so happy. It makes me giddy. Also, what do you mean I'm about to die? Oh, insta kill actually coming in huge. Saved my entire day. Bam. Okay, at least now I can actually trade this out. So what are we going to get? We've got the Chi Comp. Oh my god. What a dirty little gun. The Chi Comp is so bad. Like, you know what? I think someone can make a case for liking any other gun but the Chi Comp, right? Like, I'm sure there's some masochists who like the SMR. I'm sure there's somebody who says like, oh, the Packamage War Machine is actually really good. And it's not. You're just lying to yourself. But the Chi Comp, bro, surely. Surely there's not even a singular individual that likes this weapon. And if you do, you're lying, right? You're actually lying to me first of all. But what is your made up imaginary reason for liking this weapon? Because I genuinely don't think there can be a reason. It's a three round burst. Doesn't even do that much damage. The only maybe like satisfying part is the sound. Also, we just about had enough ammo there to uh, complete the round. You actually love to see that. Come on, game. Something good. You give me the DSR 50. We are so dead. Well, probably not dead to be fair. I can, you know, like we do some of this. But at least get through the round. Do you no scope in these little fools. Oh, bro, there's a nuke there. Oh, gimme, gimme. That's mine. Right, there we go. Not actually that bad. The thing is, right, they keep setting on fire. Wait, is that, is that a max ammo? Oh, well, it's a shame. Yeah, they keep setting on fire. So when they explode, right, they actually damage the other zombies. So we can kind of use that to our advantage. Helps a little bit with like low damage. But yeah, also another gun, which I just cannot see anyone liking, is the MAA1. Literally poopy doopy gun. How can you like this weapon? Like, at least the Chi Comp has some kind of like satisfaction to it. This gun, I, I don't even know, bro. The only reason that I'm saying that like there might be justification to liking this weapon is because I'm sure somebody would be like, oh, it's good in multiplayer. Which, bro, this is zombies, bro. Get your game right. Get your game mode right, all right. Yeah, it's like the only reason. Also, we're flying for these rounds, right? We're on to round 15 now. Yeah, what do we got? The Python? Not too bad. Python is always slaying, bro. Literally didn't even have a single struggle on that round. Dead ass almost fell asleep. I don't know why I keep doing this little trick, even though I have it like <laughs> opened up, but I don't know. It's fun, all right. Also, it is no longer fun. It is no longer fun, bro. It is so over. It is so over. Round 16. How many is this? One, two, three, four. All shots, bro. It is so over. Doesn't even want to have them in the head. It is, bro, that is embarrassing. So fun, bro. So fun. I cannot wait to spend another like 25 minutes just knifing the zombies. I I, I cannot wait. Does Galvanicals work? I don't think it does, right? How will this work? Oh, okay. That's not as bad, all right? I can work with that. It's still not great, and it does lose the fire effect, which also kind of sucks, or like the blowing up effect. So this might not have been the greatest cool, but at least it's like a two shot, right? It's not just like four shot, and I've got to wait like 70 years. So it's not as bad. End game. Oh, bro, are you? Why was there a zombie spawn there? Why was there a spawn there? Oh, it is so over, boys. That was kind of my bad. I probably shouldn't have gone down there, but oh no. Okay, bye, quick revive. So at least now I, I am I am sorry bro what I, I am I am flabbergasted I am genuinely bad quick revive still down still down but quick revive bro you know how it is you literally just know how it is all right well I mean that's farm thank God that map is genuinely awful so yeah you know what? we'll just move straight on to our next survival map which is town all right here we go all right town is next so the thing with town right is it's going to be incredibly easy like I mean super easy like I'm not even playing like actual baby mode because we have pack a bunch we have all of our perks we've got two very nice training areas it is two free hey, bam there we go round one is done. We'll Go ahead and buy this Olympia. But my one issue with town is just how slow the zombies actually are. Like, actually falling asleep right now. It's because they make them spawn up there. Like, they shouldn't spawn up there unless you open up the door to jump. That's when they should spawn up there. Because otherwise, they just walk for like 20 minutes. Criminal, bro. Alright, but either way, M14 time. Also, I never understood why the M14 here is like all grayed out. Then when you go to the Olympia, I'm pretty sure it's got color. Let me just go double check so I don't look like a madman. Yeah, like, look at this, bro. Like, that, that one's got color. Like, why is why is that one special? I actually do not understand. Oh, well, thank God for that dude, bro. The round was taken way too long. Okay, let's hit the box, see what we get. I bet it's going to be something really good. We got EMPs, literally cannot use it. Okay, hit it again, see what we get. It's time, I bet it's going to be something really good. We got Type 25, let's go. You know, before recording this video, I didn't think there was that many BO2 maps. And then after recording it, it just hit me just how many there actually is. I mean, what, you've got Transit, First Depot, Arm Town, Nuke Town, High Rise, Mob of Dead, Buried, and Orange. There's nine maps. So that actually is kind of crazy to think, you know. I guess BO1 also had quite a lot. They had, you know, 5, Ascension, Wall of Dead, Shang, Moon. They had the 4, uh, World of War. Map. So, so yeah, I mean that game had 10. 11 if you count dead ups like hey. You know, I think I've mentioned this before in a video, but anyone who's you know hasn't watched every single Renzaru video ever, this game was actually meant to receive like the World at War DLC maps. Like they were meant to get remastered. I think there's a screenshot of um Reese in the BO2 loading screen, or like on the main menu where you like select the map. Bro, if that had come out, I would have loved that. Like I would love to play the Reese in BO2. I think it would slap so unbelievably hard, right? Because the BO1 version, I'm not a fan of because I just don't like BO1. I'm not really a fan of World at War because World at War mechanics are just kind of cheeks and bo3 the giant is a little bit too easy i think bo2 would have been like the perfect middle
middle ground for it, honestly. But Activision, they could it. I think because Call of Duty Ghost was too close. Bro, I bet they regret it now. I, honestly, I think that DLC for BO2 would have been like one of their best selling DLCs ever. Genuinely, bro. And it's a good thing they didn't follow the same mistake, right? With Zombie Chronicles, because that was the best selling DLC, I think, on the PlayStation Store. Also, casually get a very good, and you know how it is. Activision, they're a little bit of a silly billy, right? They don't really understand their audience very well. They're like, oh, people don't like skill based matchmaking. Just throw another bundle at them. I'm sure they'll keep them down. That'll keep the dogs from yapping. Anyways, go ahead and buy a quick revive. Also, the second I hit round 20, by the way, I'm just going to end the game because when he's the goal. Anyways, honestly, that's if I do hit round 20. I think I will on town because, let's be honest, town's a very easy map. Unless I get some like real bullshit, but even then, I could pack up into my weapons. So, yeah, if I get round 20 on town, I'm just going to end the game mainly because I wanted to try and get this video out tonight. Uh, and currently, it is getting quite late <laughs> and I have uh, still got another map to do after this. I want Nuke Town. So, yeah, believe it or not, boys, I have already recorded the rest of the games. All right. I didn't decide to do the survival maps until after Origins. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing them. Wait, is it a new round? I, was, I think it might have been. Um, Okay, my bad. How long have I been using the Reagan for? Oopsies. Uh, I need to be able to get that. Oh my god, bro. Okay, that's my punishment. I lose my gun. I don't even keep the ray gun. Uh, it's actually not going my way. Uh, hold up. Am I might. Uh, bro, I got the war machine as well. You know what? This is probably for the best. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> that is town. I don't, it would have been boring anyways, but let's be real. Yeah, either way, let's go ahead and move straight into our next map, which is Nuketown. All right, and so our final survival map, not the final map for this video, but you know, the final survival map, we have Nuketown. Now, this one might be interesting, right? Because we could go quite a while with no jug, or we could go a while without any pack a punch. It could be really bad for us. Plus, it kind of just depends on whether or not we get some decent weapons as well. So yeah, hopefully we don't do too bad, but we will see. If we get the M27 while doing this challenge on this map, I'll be very happy because the M27 I have a lot of nostalgia for, right? It genuinely might have been my first weapon I got on Nuketown. I've told it before. Basically, uh, I got Nuketown. I played it. I got the M27. Pretty sure the more I think about it, it was my first weapon actually on the game. On this map, sorry. And then I had to go. And I can't remember what happened after that. I don't know if my game crashed or if I actually managed to play out that game. Honestly, I do not remember. Those were the days. Also, I cannot use this weapon. Why am I doing this? Uh, you didn't see that, boys. Look at this. Uh, I had the Olympia the whole time. Yeah, I actually miss like the way I used to look at zombies. Like my mindset and my view on zombies has changed so much bro like especially since i started doing it for youtube i used to do zombies just for the fun of it like i used to do like high rounds and stuff like that i still obviously enjoy zombies i don't want people to think like i'm just doing it for the views or whatever but it's hard for me now to not look at zombies and be like yeah i need to record this right like i could i all just be like i'm gonna play this for fun like i have to record it see i feel like i lost that like, excitement for zombies I, I think during old war to be honest i think cold war kind of killed it for me like it was to the point where i don't even think i played forsaken on launch like or i didn't even put any time to try to learn it that's why i've had so much fun going back to like some of the older games as well like yo2 and stuff like that because it just feels me with nostalgia and you know, my memory. BO3 is the last game I get nostalgic for. There's no nostalgia for BO4. There's none for Cold War. Like BO3 is the last game. That's actually a good question. When do you guys stop getting nostalgia for zombies? Like what game do you guys stop getting nostalgia for it? Also, am I even gonna have enough points to get a weapon? Um no, it's not looking good for me. Hey, what do I need to do here? Let me just get like two kills with this thing. There's literally nothing I can do, right? Like physically could not get a weapon. Uh but there we go, all right? We can just go ahead and buy this M oh, it's a Remington, sorry. It was an M16, but yeah, I guess we'll just deal with this. Also, we do have a perk coming down. Oh my god. Could be something really good. Could be something absolutely dog shit. We're about to find out. Uh, what is it? I can't tell. Of course, it landed on the side that I didn't go to because, you know, I need to go to the box more than anything. And again, by the way, oh, wait, hold up. That broke cook. This is a thousand. How much was that other door back there? I think it's 750, right? Yeah. How much is this B23 at a thousand? Okay. That's a little bit better than having to get like 950 uh, after opening that thousand door, right? This is a little bit more reasonable. Also, I don't even have to shoot. I think I can just knife my way there. So we need 20 points. So there we go. Trade out the M14 for the B3R. And honestly, I could really really do is just trying to knife all of these zombies just trying to maximize my points because once i get to the box it's not as bad it's just actually getting to that point so there's a thousand. Oh my god are you joking not going my way right now give me up game let me out let me out i think that's enough points to hit the box there you go okay we can actually like properly start now so what are we gonna get for the next round we got the dsr not the greatest thing in the world especially for points that nuke also doesn't help but it is what it is we just have to move with it honestly i want to see what i got i wonder if i can see it from in here oh bro we got jug that's actually wild oh my god i'm got double points where did that come from okay, kind of cooking with the tsr bam round six is complete we managed to get through it i'm gonna take it so let's hit the box please game give me something good give me the m27 i'm actually begging please oh my god you literally asking you to receive this game loves me him actually wants my babies but he's not allowed them not allowed them uh, i just called the game a he I i'm not gay anyways this is actually big bro. oh this gun is so like it's just so good looking bro it makes me so happy and it's so smooth as well oh this gun is actually just like just it yeah what i can do now is i can actually like save up for joke bro never fucking mind this is not going my way Bro, what? What did I even die to? What? Oh my god, bro. 
Also, that zombie just fly. What? Okay, that is upsetting. Didn't even reach 100 kills, by the way. That is actually sad, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, you know how it'd be. We, we only do one take of these other than the bus depot. We don't talk about that. So yeah, I mean, that is Nuketown. Didn't go exactly the way I planned. Of course, I get the M27 and I'll die. It was a little bit embarrassing, but you know what? We just move like that. Yeah, without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and jump over to our next map, which is Diorize. All right, the next map, new me. All right, we got Diorize. So this map should be a lot better because it's actually going to be weapons that we can use, like Transit, all right? So honestly, I'm just going to use the M1911 this round just to get it out of the way. So there we go. Round one is complete. We're going to buy this Olympia. And this is going to be our round two weapon. You know, on OBS, right, because I've upped the saturation of my uh, recordings, Diorize doesn't actually look that bad. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen the images, right, of um, Infinite Warfare with, like, slightly more saturation. It actually looks so good. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, I think that's genuinely the reason why Black Ops 3 still looks the most visually pleasing. Not the big boy words, but yeah, like, that's why I think Black Ops 3 actually looks the best, right? Because it just has that extra bit of saturation or just in the base game. It just makes it look great. But Black Ops 2, right, it doesn't look awful, but then when you add, like, the tiny bit of saturation, like, the dragon pops more. I guess it kind of depends. For me, right, like, I prefer when my games are very colourful and, like, very, like, styled or stylish. Also, I am actually so dumb. I'm using the LMP around for it. Okay. All right, we're going to pretend that that wasn't happening, all right? We're actually going to pretend that didn't happen. All right, it was round three. Uh, my bad. I actually just don't even talk about that. I mean, that's <laughs> that's literally the whole round. We can no longer use it. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come down here and buy the PDW. See, all right, my bad, boys. Actually, my bad. But we're back on track. Uh, but yeah, again, it kind of depends, right? Because if you prefer the very nitty gritty look of, like, Black Ops 1, for example, then, you know, you probably won't enjoy having a load of saturation in your games. But it, it really just depends, right? I'll probably explain why, like, some of my favorite games are, like, the Persona series and stuff like that because it's just, like, so styled up. Like, I don't think you guys understand, right? When the Persona 3 Reload trailer and stuff like that came out, comparing that to, like, the original Persona 3, like, bro, I was actually nutting everywhere. It was unreal. Okay, is that the end of the round? Yeah, okay, it is. Um, We'll just buy this B23R for now. Might as well. We're already on round five, bro. We're actually flying through this. Basically, I just want to do better than what I did during transit, right? Like, round eight, actual embarrassment. I feel like we might, right? Because I'll actually be able to buy Joe. I'm really not a fan of transit for challenges because it's just, like, it's too big, right, to, like, do anything. Bro, right, enough of me ranting. I think this is the last guy, so I'm going to kill him. I'm going to make a jump down here. Now, this is where it's really going to matter, right? Because I have to make this jump here. If I don't make it, I might actually be dead. Yeah, I made it. Well, where'd I go? The box? Oh, we have one of these rounds. Okay. Um, The S12 is actually perfect. Well, ironically perfect. Plus, we have a bit of, like, a, an insta-kill here, so that could be quite helpful. And I stand in two of these guys. You, let's go. If I could get the free perk here, that'd be kind of big. Bro, is this the tactic? This is, like, working ridiculously well. Oh, okay. One came behind. Okay, that's kind of embarrassing. But we did... Oh, my God. I cannot even believe it just did that to me. Actually heartbroken. Actually heartbroken. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep really good track of what weapons I used in the previous round, right? Because now I've got the S12, the BT3R, and the Python. I mean, we should be good anyways. We don't have to worry about that until we get to a point where I'm going to, like, run out of ammo. So we'll be good. I was kind of hoping for Jug, though. That would have been ideal. All right, well, I mean, either way, we got the Python. I think, like, too crazy, you know? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself my next weapon already. So what do we get? The Executioner? I mean, like, sure. I can't exactly say no to it. Also, why am I using it? Why am I using it? Game? Boys, just disqualify the entirety of Diorize. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing. I am throwing. Sorry, my brain is on full monkey brain mode, all right? And it's just not working the way it's intended to. Sorry, my apologies, boys. My actual apologies. All right, well, I mean, we got the Barrett. Kind of an L. Uh, for now, we have to use the Executioner. So it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to make a quick move down this way. And do you know what? I guess the one benefit of Mule Kick is I can prep my guns in, like way in advance, right? So I've got the Executioner for this round, the Barrett for the next round, and the AR-94. That's not awful. Okay, I mean, I mean, the Barrett is pretty bad, but we can make do with one bad gun for a round, all right? I'm thinking maybe chilling in this room then, especially when we have the Barrett, because if I go over there and I have to use the Barrett for the entire round, it is so over. It is so over. Like, there's nothing I can do. Okay, the only issue, though, with setting up all of these guns in advance is that if I did run out of ammo, I would, I would be kind of screwed. So, yeah, that's something I've got to keep into consideration. Look at that, right? We're going into round nine. Doing a lot better in transit. I haven't lost my quick revive yet, so, you know, that's always a plus. But now we're on to the Barrett. Now, this is where I could honestly lose my quick revive because this gun is so poopy. It's honestly unreal how bad this weapon is. So, I'm going to have to do some actual phase shenanigans here. <laughs> like quick scope these guys but it's not even one tapping it is it's not even killing that's embarrassing this is probably where like double tap would come in kind of huge so i could probably do it buying that uh, so the hope is it's all over there oh we got a new um that is kind of perfect is it not oh i mean the round's over anyways but whatever all right hop over here quickly turn on the power what have we got in these two areas we've got double tap and we got pack punch oh my god it's one of these rounds so i would have been really giddy because i would have been able to get a free perk but it's just occurred to me i have to use my a 94 and i can't use this gun again after this so oh okay that means i've got to get a weapon like ready for next round um this is not going to plan okay I, i'm gonna drop down here and trade out the executioner for the ak-74u and yeah what i might do is i might save one of these guys and just try and get set up of course you know double tap is gone i have no idea where jug is so we are so unbelievably up what i could do is i could build the slick fire and have that for a round would be the big play here oh there's mule kick oh that's such an l that means jug is in like the death corner and if you don't know what the death corner is uh, i'll probably have to show you
you in like two seconds. It's just that one corner of the map that nobody goes to because, oh my god, if I die here, I'm so done. I am so done. Oh, this is not going my way, bro. Actually, not going my way. I just lost it. I just lost the um the A94. Let's go. All right, we're gonna switch to the barret. Fucking stupid game. All right, well, I mean, we have to use the AK-74U this round, so it's not the end of the world. I can live with this. You know, this gun's not even that bad. What I'm mainly worried about is that I'm in this very small area with no quick revive. That's genuinely what's terrifying me here. You know, we did manage to get double tap, which is very nice. Massive upgrade to our firepower. Oh my god. Ooh. I want to try and build a stick of fire before I leave, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Again, two shot. I'm literally dead. Oh my. Oh, bro. Why is it not going my way? Why is it not going my way, boys? Why is this genuinely so embarrassing? That is Diamond Race complete. Round 11. Actually embarrassing. I don't know why I'm playing so bad, but uh, I am. So yeah, I mean, either way, let's go ahead and move on to our next map, which is Mob of the Dead. Right then, our next map is Mob of the Dead. I promise you now, this one is going to be so much better, right, than everything else we've done. I, I promise. How do I know this? Uh, well, I mean, I don't, right? But the reason I keep dying is because I keep losing my quick revive and having absolutely no way to get back to the machine, right? That's like the number one issue with transit and die rise is that once you lose your quick revive on solo, like, bro, if you die, you dead, bro. And I didn't have Jug anywhere near me, which also kind of screwed me over. But with Mob of the Dead, right, I will always have at least one quick revive every single round. I mean, look at this, right? I'm starting off with three. Like, this is this can't go wrong. But, you know, it, it should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the Olympia on round two because uh, the Olympia is significantly worse than the M14. Then I need to figure out where the box is. I think it's in Warden's office. So I'll just make my way over there. Honestly, though, like so far, we've not exactly had the best look with the box. It has been kind of embarrassing. So I need to change this up. All right. Also, you know what I could do? I could open up this door or and then do this cheeky little trick here to open up some doors for free. Look at me. I'm a little deviant mastermind. And yeah, what I can do with that is I can quickly open up all of this stuff. So open up that, uh, open up to electric cherry and then we'll revive ourselves. And there we go. So was the mystery box in here? Yes, it was. Let's go. Two through. So yeah, I'm going to want to hit that in a second just so I can get a gun ready for the next round. Well, that double points is actually quite useful. Uh, where is last guy at? Or is actually hiding from me? Oh no, here we are. Okay, perfect. Okay, hit the box, see what we get. Hopefully it's something decent. It's not going to be absolutely boopy. We got the executioner. I mean, it'll do. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to hit the box again. Print as M14. So, oh, we got the minigun. That is kind of big. I mean, it does kind of suck to get that on round four. I mean, we're going to be using it on round five. So, I mean, that does kind of suck because, you know, that gun's actually quite strong. Would have been nice to have that on a, you know, a decently high round. But at this point, honestly, I'm not even complaining what I get because chances are I'm probably going to die on round like 11. Look, boys, I never claim to be good at zombies, all right? Yeah, but I think that's the end of the round. So, the box again. And uh, we got the M tar. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. The only thing is, right, with this challenge is I have just no points to spend on anything else. All right, like, I want to go by Jug. Not happening anytime soon. By the way, I think people forget how cool this weapon was. Like, just to be chilling in the mystery box. Like, there's a lot of unique weapons on maps and, like, zombies and stuff like that. But I think this one might be the most unique, honestly. A literal minigun. Just be chilling in the box like this. You gotta love it. Like, I'm actually trying to think of what else there would be that'd be, like, so unique like this. Maybe, like, the Marshall pistols, but that's only because it comes dual wielded. But I really don't know. Okay, either way, we're going on to round six. We now I have to only use the M tar. But I'm gonna take this as a chance to go ahead and get myself jug because I need it. So let's just zap the machine. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Do I even bother going to the plane? Or like building the plane, sorry, and like going to the bridge? Is there actually a point? I don't even know, boys. I mean, maybe. Because the thing is, right, is even if I pack a bunch of weapon, I've literally got to get rid of it next round. So it's like, I've then got to go back to the bridge, get myself a new pack a bunch weapon, and it's just going to be a massive pain in the ass. So I might just try and do it without pack a punching. If it gets to the point where like I actually can't survive with a pack a punch weapon, I might have to just do it. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get to that point. And look, boys, this is the first time I've actually been able to buy Joe. That's how you know it's going to be a successful game. Uh, also, I've just messed up uh, unbelievably. This gun is a thousand points. Um, shit. Okay, uh, what have I just done? How have I done this? So I honestly thought that door only cost a thousand. It didn't. It cost a thousand five hundred. So what I'm going to have to do, right, is I'm going to have to somehow get a thousand points without using my weapons. Um, it's okay. We have grenades. We can make this work. Okay, 930. Let me just get a knife or maybe? No? I mean, that grenade will get So there we go. Trade out the death machine. And there we go. Oh my god. That was like actually kind of close. Was not a fan of that. Oh, door points actually kind of massive. Oh, bro. We are actually stacked up on points. But what's nice about getting weapons, right, is that if I do run out of ammo, I can just buy more. I mean, we've got max ammo here, but it doesn't even matter I need to buy a different weapon. So I'll buy this mini Uzi for now. Yeah, as I was saying, it's the one nice thing about buying war weapons is just that. So what I should have been doing, right, is saving the war weapons for a point where I get like a really bad weapon. But then again, I, I can't exactly predict it. I don't even know what I'm on about, boys. I'm just waffling. Actually, just making conversation. Okay, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to go hit the box, see what else we can get. So come on, game, give me something good. We got the DSR 50. You are actually joking. Okay, well, I mean, that's going to be interesting to use next round. And by interesting, I mean absolutely fucking painful because the DSR 50 is not a good weapon. Unpack a bunch, all right? I gotta, I gotta, you know, specify that. Unpack a bunch is not that good. Especially on a map like Mob of the Dead, right? Very close quarters, not a lot of uh, wiggle room, as, as I would say. Like, space to move, you know? Well, basically, it's very close quarters with a sniper rifle. It is never gonna end well. So, all I can do is hope for the best. Put my hands together and actually fucking 
Ray. Oh, that nuke is actually huge, bro. Okay, I want to try and save that until the very end. Okay, I'm going to grab it now. Oh my god, why was I nearly dying there? That was low-key disrespectful. But there we go. We actually managed to end the round. Plus, we got Brutus on us, which is really bad, especially since I don't actually have a weapon for this round. So, game, I'm going to need something really good here to take out Brutus. If you don't give me something good, it, it, it's going to be really painful. We got the MTAR again. Um, So, there's no rule that I can't use the same weapon if I get it out of the box. Um, War weapons are a different story. I want to kind of limit myself to one war weapon uh, a game. So, like, I'm not, like, you know, just keep keep buying the same two weapons, right? You know what I mean? But when it comes to the box, I can't control that. So, yeah, we are allowed to use this MTAR again. I find it unlucky that we got the, uh, you know, MTAR twice, but whatever. What can you do? But our next weapon was going to be the S12. Okay, that does kind of suck. Okay, so there we go. Round 10 is complete. Oh, the box moved as well. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Hopefully, it moves to the cafeteria. That would be, like, the most ideal spot. Yeah, I mean, we are set for this round anyways. We've got the S12, so I'm happy. What I do quickly want to do is I want to go into Afterlife. I don't know why I went to this one all the way over here instead of just going to, like, <laughs> the one that was just outside the warden's office. I just felt a little bit different, you know, a little bit quirky today. But yeah, I want to get double tap, and I also want to get speed color. We're actually very set up, surprisingly. The only thing we don't have is, well, I mean, it's Pack-A-Punch, but again, like, we don't really want to go for Pack-A-Punch because it's a little bit too inaccessible for me. Yeah, I mean, either way, this S12, you know, it's doing work. I say that as it's literally about to run out of ammo. Gotta love that. Um, I mean, as I said, if it runs out of ammo, we have to use the weapon from before. Oh, we got a fire cell. That's actually kind of big. Okay, this is perfect because it's literally the end of the round. Um, okay, let's hit the box. Let's try out the entire. We got the dual wheel 5.7s. So what we're going to use this round. And then for next round, we've got to use the Blundergar. Wow, okay. Not complaining at all. Also buy ourselves double tap real quick. And if we come in here, we can also buy speed cola. And then we're pretty much fully set up. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, oh my God. Literally, as I said, oh my God, Electric Cherry just saved my life. Huge W to Electric Cherry. And bam, there we go. So yeah, I'm feeling really good. And I think that's in cafeteria. Oh my God, can the look get any better? I'm actually giddy. Okay, actually, I say that, but it could be up in the infirmary. It's up in the infirmary. Oh my God. Well, why did I even say that to myself? Why did I do that to myself? All right, well, I mean, let's just see what we've got for next round. We've got the FAL. My look is really turning around in the worst way, but I mean, it's fine, all right? We move. Can't exactly go wrong with this blunder guy. Plus, we got a nuke as well, so, you know, that's gonna help, you know, just fly through this round. Yeah, this round is just gonna fly by. I think we're down to the last guy as well. Uh, where is he at? There he is. So, there we go. End of round 13, and our weapon is gonna be the executioner for the round after. We got FAL, and then we got executioner. I mean, not the greatest guns in the world, but I mean, we can make it work. Oh, but we do have a big baddie Brutus. Okay, we popped up as I was taking a drink. He is literally dead. Double tap and any weapon against Brutus is just an insta kill. I swear. He actually stands no chance. See, boys, I told you, right? Mob of the Dead was going to be the one. It was going to be different. So while, you know, we finish up this round, a lot of people have asked for the, you know, can you beat all the World War II Easter eggs in a set amount of time? And my only response to that is the Darker Shore. I've streamed that map twice now trying to beat the Easter egg. Physically cannot do it. Like, I actually don't think it's possible for me to do that map because I, I just don't get it. I just don't understand the steps. Like, they don't make sense to me. And it's really hurting my head. And last night when I was streaming, it was genuinely so depressing. I think I spent 40 minutes looking for a rock and I went through all of the emotions, right? I went through like sadness. Then, you know, the chat rose me back up and I got real hyped up again. And I found the rock in the end and it just filled me with more sadness because it was just in the stupid, dumbest spot. So yeah, I am working on that video at some point, but honestly, like I still need to learn it. Like I'd have an easier time having someone just carry me through the Easter egg and then explaining it in a script rather than actually doing the Easter egg myself. Okay, how are we doing for the round? Okay, round is over. So we do have to use the S12 this round, which, you know, isn't great. I won't lie. So because of how low the ammo actually is in this thing, uh, I might have to keep the executioner just in case I need to switch back to this weapon. Oh my god, dude, this S12 is so bad. There's a lot of bad weapons in BO2. Like, this game has some of the best weapons and then just some of the absolute most dog shit weapons. Like, the type of weapons you put into a brown bag and light it on fire and put it on, like, your neighbor's watch, bro. Like, a literal dookie in a bag. Look at that. I mean, it's out of ammo already. Okay, so I'll switch the executioner unless we get, like, a max ammo, which, if we do, great. I haven't had one in a while, to be fair. Oh, we did get a fire cell, though. Oh, that's actually really good. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to end the round. Is this the end of the round here? No, is this the end of the round? No. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, what are you going to give me, game? I need something really good here. Uh, the death machine again. I mean, I'm not exactly going to complain. That's the good weapon for this round. Uh, and then we got the AK-47 for the next round. It is so free. It is so free. That is actually kind of huge. The only issue right with the death machine is of how like slow you run with it. Kind of sucks. But then again, the firepower on this thing is it, genuinely crazy. So I think we'll be all good. That is my certified game theory. By the way, Matt Pat, you know the the host of Game Theory, has uploaded his final Game Theory uh, ever. And you know that is really depressing. I was thinking about it the other day. Like, do you guys think Game Theory, right, is just going to, like, fall off from here? Like, do you think anyone's actually going to still watch it? Obviously, I know they, like, announced all the new hosts and stuff like that, but I, I genuinely feel like people come back to Game Theory for MatPat. Like, they don't come back for the actual show itself. So, I'm actually genuinely curious to see if they, like, fall off a bit in views. But I think that'd be completely fine, like, financially, though. Like, they make so much, <laughs> like, views. But, like, financially, I'm, I'm sure that'd be fine, bro. Like, they make so many views every day. Literally thousands a day, bro. It is crazy. Oh, my God. We've got the Barrett for this round. That is actually so... Oh, well, next round, sorry. That is actually so sad. At least we got the Brutus for this round, though. So I don't have to try and...
and kill him with the Barret. So, you know, that's nice. The only thing I'm really worried about now is the ammo. The ammo is kind of scary. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this nuke, take out a good chunk of the round. And then, basically, I'm just going to, like, train it out of my ass, bro. Oh, we got a max ammo. That's kind of big. Perfect, bro. So, I didn't even want the max ammo for this round. I wanted it for next round because I'm sure this Barret is probably going to run out of ammo, like, soon, right? Like, I don't think this thing is going to last. Also, I just noticed, right, like, the scope on the Barret between rooms, it, like, changes because <laughs> it's trying to get the new room so it can reflect it in the scope. They're funny, bro. All right, round 19. We nearly hit our round goal. Uh, obviously, I won't just end it at 20 because, you know, where's the fun in that? You know, I need to make a video, boys, or it needs to be at least somewhat kind of long. Okay, well, I mean, there we go. Out of ammo. <laughs> like, what am I meant to do? We did get another fire cell, though. That is kind of nice. Isn't that in the same spot as the last one? Oh, what are the chances of that? Yeah, I think we're coming up to the end of the round. So, yeah, just take you out. There we go. Round 20. We've done it, boys. We actually managed to hit at least one round goal. Uh, and then we got the dual world 5 sevens, which is very nice. And our gun for next round is going to be the regular Mark II, boys. It is so set. We're going to at least make it around 22. At least around 22. Okay, I feel like just in case, right, I do like just continuously keep going. Uh, I do want to set a hard cap, right? If I do make it around 30, which, you know, is very unlikely because I'm sure I'm going to like die before then. But if I, in case I did make it around 30, right, that's where we'll end the, the mob of the dead. There's a thing with this challenge, right, is you can technically just go on like as long as you want. It's not really an ending. And so we've got the LSAT for next round because obviously we've got the regular Mark II this round. Very nice. Yeah, anyways, if we do get around 30, I'll end the mob of the dead and we'll move on to our next map. But I I'm sure any second out, the game's going to give us the RPG and like, I was going to say the SMR, but the SMR's not even on this map. Neither is the war machine. That probably explains why the box hasn't exactly been fucking me over. Because there's literally no weapons to fuck me over with. I mean, I could get the DSR-50 and like the Barret, the RPG and the Barret. That'd be an L. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh my god, literally as I'm saying, as I'm saying that, as I'm saying that, bro. Genuinely embarrassing. Oh my god, hold up. Let a bro cook. I think we're at the end of the round anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get myself set up. And yeah, we'll move on to the next round. Also, right, I'm going to make it a video at some point. That was not even English, what I just said there. But I'm going to make a video at some point, right, where I review you guys is like worst takes like the hottest of takes and now it can't just be something you say for like you know a clicks you know it can't just be engagement bit it needs to be something you genuinely believe that you think is like a hot take right and i'm going to be using like my discord stuff and i'm also going to be using like youtube comments so all you gotta do if you want to be in that video is just start your comment off by just saying like hot take and that way i can like search for it so when i do make the video like i'll be able to see it all right either way i'm fully set up now so let's take out this guy we can now only use the l set which you know isn't awful it's got like 500 clips clips mags bullets yeah, there you go. Alright, and I'm also gonna buy this M1927. Trading out that Regal Mark II actually hurt me, by the way. That like, actually hurt my soul doing that. But yeah, once again, we got our next two weapons basically like all set up. I should really stop trading out at my previous weapon just in case I do run out of ammo. <laughs> Who fuck, bro? Is you baby? Please, bro, please stop me. <laughs> fucking hell, bro. The pause the game. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. Please don't kill me. That was an actual violent sneeze, bro. Oh, we got a big nuke. Okay. We're getting very lucky with drops this game. Like, that's something I've noticed. We've been getting a lot of max ammos, a lot of insta kills, a lot of nukes. I've actually been very nice. I mean, there you go. Round 22 is complete. Going on to round 23. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to look for a final shield piece so I can go ahead and build that. I think it's just going to be up here. Yeah, there it is. Also, I don't know what it is, bro. The Tommy gun in Mob of the Dead just sounds different. I'm so stupid, bro. Uh, but yeah, it just hits different. Like, I don't know what it is with the sound, but it's, uh, it's very nice. So what am I meant to do here? Okay, I'm literally dead. Uh, This is not good. This is not a good situation to be in. Uh, is it over? It might. I, I didn't realize this M1927 or whatever. It's going to be so bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. It's so over. Okay, somehow I managed to squeeze out of that. We're gonna have to buy double tap ASAP. So basically gonna be around without any quick revive, without any jug. Oh, and we're dead. Okay, I literally just got light insta killed. Let's go. Oh, I mean that's Mob of the Dead for you. Nice little fire cell in the in the I guess ending cutscene. Yeah, that's Mob of the Dead. Pretty good, you know. Round 24. Oh, was it 24? Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's 24. That's not bad. I'm actually happy with that. So easily probably gonna be the longest part of this video. But yeah, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and move over to our next map, which is buried. Okay, gamers, buried is up next. Now I'm interested about this map, right? Because I feel like one of the big issues we've been having it, especially like what showed up in Mob of the Dead, right? Was the mystery box just kept moving and in Buried, you can lock it down so it doesn't actually move. Plus, getting the pack punch, you know, it's not the biggest pain in the ass. So we can actually kind of like utilize pack punch this round. Plus, we can get a load of free perks. So overall, I think we're going to have a pretty easy time on Buried. So it should be good. So since we're probably never going to be able to come back up yet, I'm going to spend the first three rounds uh, using these weapons. I could try and get real goofy and get the LSAT, but to be honest, like 2000 points, it's not massively worth it. Honestly, I, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, round two is complete around three that's by the m14 so someone i used to go to secondary school with uh, i don't know what that is in american yeah basically someone i went to school with uh, they switched the motivational facebook posts obviously i can't you know show the image itself because he puts a, a nice little uh, nice little selfie with the cute emoji over it so i can't show that but what i can do is read out the quote and boys it is life-changing all right it really set me in a different mood you know and the quote you know it goes as following life is a video game no matter how good you get you always get zapped in the end and truly it was motivational he was 
was so brave to come out and say that. <laughs> there was another one. He said, sometimes good things come to an end. I'm to focus on me again. And wow, that is so true. I'm going to remember that when, uh, <laughs> when my channel eventually comes to an end and just dies out. I say it's time to focus on me again. But just thought I'd share that for anyone, you know, truly a motivational quote. Uh, I will constantly be looking at this, you know, getting the updates. So if I see any more certified bangers, uh, I will let you know. But yeah, I mean, round four, we've got the MTAR. I mean, literally round four, any gun would have done. But I'm happy. What I do need to do, though, is I need to have Leroy lock the box. Because I don't want that box moving. Because that's going to be, like, my main source of where I'm going to get all my weapons from. So let's head over here. Quickly unlock Leroy. So here you go. What is good, big boy? Give him the booze. Okay, so pick up the booze. Uh, I also want to quickly open up Jug. So let's ho hopefully hit that. If he doesn't hit that, I'm actually going to cry. I'm going to let him, you know, do his thing. I'm going to believe in him. I've got faith. Uh, There we go. Look at that. He was just a little bit delayed, but I believed in him the whole time. So I'll also come up here and turn on the power. And then Leroy perfectly in position. And to come all the way over here and just smash the box real quick. Now, boys, this is a good look. All right, you do it as he hits it. And you always get a wonder weapon. Ready? Bam. Look at that. All right. Well, I mean, the 5.7, it'll do. We're not going to, like, die by using it, especially on round five. Unless I'm genuinely that bad at the game, which would be kind of upsetting. Oh, my God. The next weapon is literally the DSR. That is so sad. I feel like a little marks from there. Oh, good about that. My ASMR 5.7 gameplay. All right, anyways, we have to use the DSR 50 this round, but what gun are we going to get next round? we got the Ray gun. I mean, I will take it. See, what I would like is like the time bomb. I can get two perks from the witch's house. I could be stacked up. But like the sniper's not bad. It's just that like, I don't really like using snipers and zombies. The only exception to that is like the Dracon. Oh my God. So I mean, bro, they're just slow. But like one zombie at a time, unless you get a collateral and you think you're in phase. It's not it, bro. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the box again. Look at that creepy bitch over there. Oh, bro, we got the paralyzer, but what do you mean? Okay, that's actually so good. Um, honestly, the worst part is this Reagan. Now, does using the paralyzer, like just to get around, like just for movement, count, right? Like, could I still use it? I feel like I'd accidentally kill a zombie. So uh, what I'll do is I'll trade it out next round, all right? Like after we use it, we'll, we'll trade it out, yeah? But what I do want to use this thing for is getting me some perks, right? So I want to quickly come up here by speed cola. It would have been nice to maybe get double tap, but if I enter the witch's house with the paralyzer, I wouldn't be able to kill a single witch, which would be very upsetting. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to come back to that in a bit. At least when I've like, actually got a decent weapon or a weapon that can kill. Plus, I, I'm still looking out for those climb bombs, all right? I'm still hoping. On the S12 again. Yikes, bro. Gonna have an interesting next round, that's for sure. All right, I think this is the last guy anyways. Let's just go ahead and kill him. And there we go. Gonna have to trail out the paralyzer. How sad. Actually depressing. Oh, we got the Reagan back. <laughs> all right, I mean, I'm not exactly complaining. Let's go. Oh, I probably shouldn't have traded out the paralyzer. Actually, oh no. Because again, this thing has like no ammo. Okay, oh, I didn't think about that. I really didn't think about this. Oh my fucking God. That is so stupid. Um, okay. How do I go about this? Yeah, I really shouldn't have traded out the paralyzer. Okay. Um, that was just dumb on my part. Like, like, that was just really stupid. I want to say there's not too much more left of the round. Oh, that insta was kind of big. There you go. Done. We managed to do it without having to uh, do some cheating shenanigans. What a guy. What an absolute professional gamer. Yeah, we'll buy back our jug. Kind of sucks that we took it down, especially since it's a bit of a pain to get all the way back up to quick revive, but it's whatever. Also, we've got the SMR. It's actually so over after this round. But uh, yeah, I mean, for now, we've got the ray gun, so I'm not exactly like desperate need of getting another weapon or like, you know, like clutching on. The only like shit part about the ray gun, to be honest with you, is the fact that we don't get any points. Like 50 points a kill is actually depressing. Oh, okay, we got a new. Yeah, that's the end of round 10. This is the round where we have to use the SMR, which kind of sucks. For next round, we got the 5-7 dual wield, so we just need to get through this round. All we got to do. Without any double tap, this gun is, I don't even think it's going to be able to kill. Like, this gun is so bad. Oh my god, this thing is literally so atrocious. Probably another round, oh my god, where I shouldn't have traded out my other weapon, just in case this thing runs out of ammo. Uh, I really need to stop doing that. Oh my god, am I dead? I'm literally dead. Oh my Oh, dude, this is not going my way. Literally, the only one that's went my way has been Bob of the Dead, and it is actually embarrassing me. Well, I mean, you know how it is. We only do one attempt on these, regardless of how shit they go. So yeah, unfortunately, that is the end of Berry. Uh, so let's just go ahead and move on to our final map for this video, which is Origins. Right then, so our final map uh, is Origins. So this one is going to be interesting, right? Because Origins is not an easy map by any means whatsoever, especially when it comes to round eight, okay? I think round eight uh, might be the end of me. It really depends on what weapon I'll get, because if I have like the war machine and I have to face the panzer, it is so over. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how lucky we get. Uh, I also want to do this generator before I end the round. Yeah, so the mission box is right there. So I'm going to head over there in a second. Also, our nuke is kind of big. At round two, we'll take the ballista. Now, to be fair, right, we could get weapons from the dig spot. That would be really useful. If I could do that, that literally means I don't have to spend 950 in the box. So let's just fly through these rounds. Round two is complete. Uh, I am going to buy the M14. I just want to quickly see if I can get a weapon from here. We've got the ballista again. Okay, well, I can't use it because it just gave us ammo. So let's just pick up this M14. Yeah, let's just rack up some points. Okay, while I put this instickle on, actually, uh, I'm going to quickly do this generator so we can actually like use the box. That's one thing that's weird, right, is you can't 
can't use the box until you turn on the generator. I don't know. It's just always been really weird for me. But right, first hit the box. What are we going to get? We got the FAL, of course. Of course, we got the FAL. Because why not? Why would the game want to give me something good? Also, chances are I'm probably not going to build the staffs. <laughs> because there's like literally no point to doing so. What I need to try and do is that by round eight, uh, I want to be able to abort Jug. But this map actually looks so nice. Is it because I have the fog off? Yeah, it is. Right. This is the map with the fog on. And this is the map with the fog off. Look how much nicer that looks. It's actually so bright. Oh my God. That is actually crazy, the difference. I mean, like, this is also kind of a vibe. Like, I do like this. But at the same time, I mean, come on. Which one do you guys prefer, right? Let me know in the comments. But what I need to do is I need to buy this MP40. I literally do not have the points. So, the knife is on me twice. So, we go. But yeah, this is going to be the gun we use for round five. I kind of wish I saved it for a later on weapon. But uh, it will have to do. Okay, I want to try and save up enough money to get Jug. But uh, at the same time, just need to make sure I have enough money to actually get a weapon at the end of this round as well. So, yeah, I think this is probably the last guy. So, let's kill him. Yeah, we're going to have to go hit the box real quick. Not a problem. Not even sweating. Oh, we hit the box. And what are we going to get? We got the Galil. I mean, uh, that's not bad at all. Actually getting some semi-decent look once. All right, plus we have another Jug as well. So that's kind of big. Oh, we also have the 5.7 here. I forgot about this. Hopefully I don't have to resort to it. But if I need a weapon ASAP, you know, like proper desperately, then there we go. All right, let's just quickly do this uh, generator here. Don't want to end the round. So got to be careful not to do that. All right, there we go. I uh, saw some Jug. And then there we go. I think this is the end of the round. No? Okay. Where is the last guy at? Literally cannot see him. Let's go. Love that. So you know, boys, uh, in the overall YouTube scheme, I don't know why it's a scheme now, I meant to say scene, but whatever. Uh, another Minecraft YouTuber has been exposed, boys. Can you believe it? Like, honestly, the joke is right themselves at this point. Like, it is crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you'd think if you were going to, like, start uploading Minecraft, the last thing you do is diddle kids. Like, I guess, like, in this case, it actually wasn't a kid, but it was, a uh, you know, just an adult. But actually, then again, I actually did hear that they were uh, underage. So, who knows, boys? Who knows? Never one got accused of being an abuser. Uh, it, it just, you know, writes itself, as I said. You've got them lot in the Minecraft community. you got Rizzo in the Roblox community. What can you do, boys? At that point, just like ban uploading those games. Also, we did get incredibly unlucky. We got the war machine. Uh, this is a massive L, especially on round seven. So, I'm gonna have to clutch up, but I'm not too sad about it because there is one benefit, right? And that is we're not gonna get this gun on the pans around. It's like, yeah, it kind of sucks, but it's like a nice guarantee, you know, a safe a safe line. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but you guys know what I mean. Sync doesn't have the most amount of ammo, though, which kind of sucks. Also, this might kill me. No, we're good. Yikes. Oh, there's an instinct on there. Issue. Literally perfect what we need. So, bam. I literally hit no one. Let's go. And there we go. That's the end of the round. So, I'm gonna hit the box again. What is the weapon we're gonna take on the Panzer with? Please don't be something absolutely dookie. The Reagan. It is it is so free. Actually free. Yeah, okay, Panzer's on his way. Where is he at? There he is. Okay, go, go, go. We gotta take him out. Uh, bro is tanking. Bro is tanking. Never mind, he's dead. Oh my god, are you actually joking? Uh, am I not dead here? I actually don't even know. That was huge, bro. Okay, there we go. That Reagan came in so huge. Currently, there's a big discussion going on in my Discord, which you know, if you haven't joined, you've gotta go join my Discord. And right now, right, they're talking about what maps actually have wonder fits in it because someone remembered it being on Moon uh, and Shangri-La, which, believe it or not, they're actually on neither of those maps, which is kind of crazy. Same with uh, Zetsubo no Shima. I actually thought uh, the one of his was on Zetsubo no Shima. I remember when I was doing the Rainbow Perk Challenge on all the BO3 maps. I thought it was. Turns out it wasn't. It was very upsetting, just like the box moving right now. But it's just weird, right? Because you'd think it is going to be on those maps, but it's just not. So where is the box going off to? Um, I have no idea, but I need a gun for this round, so I'm actually going to have to do it, boys. I'm going to have to buy <laughs> the 5.7. It's all right. It's only round 10, so it's not going to be like too bad. So it's right there. A Gen 3, which means I've got to activate that generator as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, we just got to move that. Another thing that sucks, right? No double tap machine. Also, I, uh, okay, we're good. No double tap machine means we're either going to have to try and get out of the Wonder Fizz, which is going to be like next to impossible. Oh my god, bro. Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay, we can go buy ammo though. It's fine. Oh, dude, we got another zombie blood as well. That's actually perfect. So while we've got this basically invincibility, what are you doing, bro? You're near me. Let's start. Uh, but yeah, while we've got this, we'll activate the generator. So there we go. This round, we have to use the AK74U. And next round, we got the Rega Mark II. It is actually so easy. Are they joking? Are you guys, are you guys laughing, bro? I just thought you are, you are playing. What do you mean, bro? Bro thought they could do a little bit of trolling. A few mischievous acts. Also, this AK-74U, not it, bro. <laughs> literally not it. Oh my god, literally not it. Oh my god, we're good. I just want to end the round as soon as possible here. Oh, we got a fire sale as well. Oh, let's go. Obviously, we've got the Mark II for this round. In the next round, we're gonna have the FAL again, which honestly kind of sucks. It's fine. We just move like that. Uh, I could really do it getting double tap. I might just hit the Wonder Fizz just in case. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna get electric cherry and mule kick like over and over again. Oh, dude, what a good round to get the Rega Mark II on, by the way. Oh my god, this poor Panzer, bro. He thinks he has a chance to just clapping me, but every time I just come out with a ray gun. That sucks for him, bro. Honestly, depressing. He actually thought he had me, though. You are actually joking. I just got double tapped straight away. You are actually playing, bro. 
bro. Yo, it is so free, bro. The luck is actually on my side. What do you mean? I never get double tap. I thought the only time I was going to get double tap from that was it was like by spending 30k points on it and then get it for free. That is crazy. Obviously, that does mean we can't get stamina up, which kind of sucks because stamina up is massive on this map, but I think I'll live. You know, what we could also do, right, is we could try and get pack a punch on because I think this is the one map where the pack punch isn't just like miles away. So we could make use of it. Oh my God, don't die. Oh, don't die. Please don't die. How did I actually clutch about that? I don't even know. This is the worst time, by the way, for the robots to come. I think this is the last guy, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way over to Gen 6, activate the generator so we can have pack a punch open. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the STG of the wall and that's going to be our gun for the next round. Too easy. We also have all the stuff to the ice staff. I mean, literally pointless to get, especially the ice staff. Oh my God, another zombie blood. I was like, we had to throw out the regular mark to the actually the person. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And there we go. <laughs> it's Gen 6 done. The game literally said like, here you go, bro. You can just have it. Okay, let's just end the round and kill the last guy. No, this last guy out. There he is. All right, man, round ended. All right, this SDG is pretty strong. Also, we should get 115 headshots. Bro, what? Round 14. I've been like hitting them in the head with, like <laughs> every single kill. That's wild. You know, it used to take me so long to get that challenge, by the way. When I was on console, I would just never shoot in the head. Like it was genuinely kind of criminal. Also, since we got fire cell, what is our next weapon going to be? We got the dual with five sevens. I mean, not awful. And we ended the round as well. So we can um, get our gun for the round after. Which is going to be the DSR. That is actually so sad. All right. Well, I mean, for now, we've got these dual world five sevens. So I think we'll be in the clear. Yeah, we'll double tap these things that are an actual beast. So I'm not even panicking. You're panicking it, all right? Okay, there we go. The DSR 50 time is kind of upsetting. What we could do, though, for the first time in this entire challenge is pack a bunch of weapon. Also, boys, don't get too scared. Cheeky jump scare. Oh my god, can you guys believe that? <laughs> yeah, the dead specimen reactor. Now, if I double pack a bunch of this, I believe uh, it's going to lose the scope. Perfect. And this thing is actually good for once. Good sniper. You cannot believe it. Cannot even conceive it. It's a bam. You're going to take a mod generator. Not even a chance. So look at that, right? We already got the uh, spend 30k points one as well. I'm like doing like not bad on these challenges, right? Oh, it's over. It is so over. It is so over. But why is there a spawn there? Well, I mean, in a way, it wasn't the worst thing to happen to me. Oh my god, me potentially dying here would be, oh, this is the, the worst decision in my life. Worst decision in my life, but it paid off. I, it, that should not have paid off on me. Absolutely not. Oh my god, I'm never about to get stepped on. Oh, that's embarrassing for you guys. That's unlucky. All right, we want to get set back up. So the reason I said it's not the worst thing in the world, because what I can do now, right, is I can buy stamina up and then get the free double tap. So I can actually have five perks now. Oh my god, how does he do it? Cheeky little bugger I am. Okay, so this quick revive bought. Very nice. Also, I have no idea where the zombies are, so I'm going to take this opportunity, right, to get our gun for next round. So what are we going to get? We got the hammer. I mean, not the worst weapon in the world. Definitely not as good as it was pre-patch. You know, pre-patch hammer was something different. But, you know, it'll, it'll do. Also, I really wish this camo was released as like a weapon pack. It wasn't just the weaponized 115 one. Because the weaponized 115 one, right, it is nice. Don't get me wrong. It's not an awful camo at all. But the blue one just looks so nice. My guess for I'm not doing the blue camo of the uh, of this like whole thing was because of the afterlife camo right which is the one i bought right because the afterlife camo is actually sexy you know what a camo i mean i'll put it up on screen now that camo slaps all right i think it's this one for double time so i'm just gonna end the round by the way since you know we might as well and there we go all right we've got five perks not too shabby now you have to use the hammer but what i could do actually a little bit big brain is i believe it's that one there at the top can either free pack of weapons so our pack of weapon is going to be the uh, galil and we can actually use that for the uh, next round i believe so not awful right not a bad decision origins is actually a cool map to do this challenge on like the panzer and like all the different ways to get weapons if you do want to try this challenge like definitely do this one like this map sorry and you literally don't even have to have mods for it right so like people on console you guys can give it a try what a challenge all right round 17 complete lamination time literally this round is going to be a pushover oh my god the m1216 i mean i guess that's our next weapon i, I actually might have to go pack a bunch of that because wow that thing is gonna suck so much ass plus it's got like no ammo so let me come and pack a bunch of this for the next round Bam, there we go and now i just need to complete this round with the lamination which it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I mean, we are just mowing through all of these zombies. You know what I could have done? Could have gotten the Maxis drone and got myself the free MG08. That would have been kind of big brain. And so, I mean, man, there's so many different ways to get weapons on this map. Wow, okay, that round just flew by. All right, the Mesmerizer. Hey, at least this gun still one taps, so we can make it work. I'm going for the next round, however, is a Scorpion Evo as well. Oh my god, beautiful. Wow, this gun is just eradicating these zombies. Oh my god, uh, never mind. Never mind. This thing sucks. This thing sucks, bro. Oh my god. It just was not killing more than like three zombies in front of me. Oh my god, okay, I at least want to try and like finish this round so we can like, you know, get our round uh, goal. That's all I at least want to do, right? I think that's our quick revival gone. I'm not mistaken. Is it going to fly away? Yep, there it goes. A little bit of an L, but we move it. Yeah, I could have done with getting the shield as well. That would have been kind of big. But I honestly just like got and just never did it. What does suck, right, uh, is we no longer have double tap, which was a massive part of what was allowing me to do so much damage. But not having it now really sucks. Unless I get really lucky with the Wonderfizz again. Uh, I don't think we're seeing that again for the rest of the run. I mean, who knows, right? What are we going to get? Bro, you, you literally cannot make it you literally cannot make it what are the chances boys someone do the maths 
someone do the fucking math. I need to know the math on this. Holy shit. That is actually massive, bro. Also, uh, we have to use a Scorpion Evo now. I'm gonna try and pack a bunch of it. Hopefully, I don't die. Okay, there we go. That is some insane luck, by the way. Oh my god. And this is an extremely unfortunate situation. Oh my god. How am I not dead? How am I actually not dead? You're okay, whatever. Oh, there goes double tap again. <laughs> this is it, bro. This has got to be the end of it now. It is so over from here. This is such a bad spot. I should have just left. I actually cannot believe that look. That is insane, bro. Imagine we get it again. What are the chances? All right, here we go. And we got Electric Cherry. Here we go. It starts now. There was not a, there was no world where I was going to get lucky like that again. Okay, that's the end of the round as well. Round 21 we're going on to. Uh, I do not have a weapon for this round. I just thought about that. Uh-oh. Oh, we got double tap again. <laughs> bro, what do you mean? Okay, Um, I need to get me a weapon. Is there anything I haven't bought? Bro, it's going to be stupid. I know there's a B23R down here that I haven't bought. It might have to do. It actually might have to do. Okay, B23R time. This thing is going to be atrocious. I already know it is. This is going to run out of ammo so quick. The most I can do, right, is pick up that max ammo in the box, sir. I can't even get pack a bunch now because um the generators are gone. This is not going my way. Oh my god, though. Hold up. Okay, we can buy back ammo. I need to try and get that generator. I think it's gone. Yeah, that's gone, bro. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I mean, we can stop them. So at least that's one thing. But we are not in the best like, spot here. Yeah, them taking gem three was actually like a lot worse than I thought. Now I don't even have access to the box. Ooh, big max ammo. Okay, let's just focus up. We're not dead quite yet. Alright. Oh my god. Uh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, see you later, boys. Oh my god, what? Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 please. Oh, bro, what do you mean? No, move, move, move. I did not like that for one second. Okay, buy some ammo back. Is this last guy? No way. Yeah, I should remember that. I genuinely cannot believe that. Okay, well, basically, uh, I just want to turn back on all of the generators real quick. So there's gen one done. We'll go do gen three again. So there we go. And then what else gonna let me do? It's gonna let me hit the box. So I can just quickly get my next gun, which is gonna be the AK-74U again. Now the only issue with this is this gun kinda sucks. Oh, then we got the war machine. It is so over, bro. Now nah, that actually sucks, bro. That actually sucks. Oh, the round ended. Um, okay, that's kind of perfect though, because I did trade out that B23R. Huh? No, bro. I didn't do gen two. I can't even pack a bunch. It is so over. Oh my god. And there's a fucking panzer. It is so over, bro. Oh, well, I mean, it was nice knowing everyone. I don't think we make it out of here, bro. I don't think we do it. I think round 22 is probably going to be our max. I mean, to be fair. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 bro. Please. Oh my god. But right, you know what, though? Round 22, we hit our round goal and we still managed to get through the B23R. So, I mean, even if we managed to get off the AK74U, we literally had the war machine next round. So, I think it was over from there. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Very cool challenge. If you do want to attempt it, definitely try on Origins. It's probably the funnest map. Yeah, you know, I really appreciate the support on this kind of like mini series. I say if it likes the video as well. Because the last video did shockingly well. For absolutely no reason. So yeah, I do really appreciate that. So yeah, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know that you guys want to see more of this type of like videos, I guess. Uh, and let me know any other cool challenges, you know, you'd like to see on the channel. I'm definitely open to suggestions. So you know, don't feel shy. Make sure you guys comment. But yeah, you know, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.